Comments from Cyprian Onwiani of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Let's get ready now for the men's 1500 meter race. And uh, this is an opportunity for us to see one of the great racers of all time, Steve Scott of the United States, and some of his opponents in a very large field, 16 racers all together as they take the start line. Scott in the pink shorts right in the middle of the starting line. And the gun is off. Steve Scott will certainly be challenged by Kip Chariot from Kenya. Kip was ranked fourth in the world in 1989. His friend and good advisor, Peter Rono, actually won here and set a meet record back a couple of years ago and told him, Peter, Kip, you've got to come and run in Vancouver. You'll run very fast. Off to a very good start. A lot of jockeying, pushing, and shoving in the pack as they come around the first turn across in front of the grandstand it's a tight pack certainly and once again this is a Canadian trials event those Canadians are fighting for, for a spot on that international team as the pace is set and they're moving quickly the mile is always an interesting event I say mile that's a term that we often apply to the metric mile in 1500 meters You've got the combination of speed and strategy. Kip Chariot is moving on now up into, just on the outside, up into first place because the two first runners are in fact pace setters. Kip Chariot has moved into third place. Kip Chariot, usually in Euro Europe this time of year, he'll be going shortly and he was looking for a fast race just to get him started. Steve Scott is running in the pink shorts. He's back in the pack. This is his typical strategy. He likes to bide his time and wait for the, for the sprint finish. He's strong over the last lap of a race and he is very good for just finding the right position, moving into form just prior to the last lap. Kip Chariot, on the other hand, is more comfortable running out front and just running from the heart. We've got a good, strong field of Canadians in this race. Dave Campbell is in that pack. He is a seven-time Canadian champion. Doug Consiglio, he's our Canadian record holder in that event, as well as a few really good up-and-comers. Brendan Mathias in the hat, running along there, determined to stay with Kip Chariot. He's coming off a great performance at the Prefontaine Classic in Eugene, Oregon, a couple of weeks ago. He ran under four minutes for the mile, which is very commendable. That is uh, Matthias now making his move up into second place behind Chariot. Uh, Steve Scott in the pink shorts is now also making his move. He has now moved into fourth place and uh, appears to be in the process of taking over third. And in fact, he has done just that over Sean Bannister. Veteran racer Steve Scott. He knows what it means to have good strategy. He knows what his strengths are. He's actually been injured and had had a tough time, and he is content to sit there in third place, knowing in these conditions it's going to come down to the last 200 meters. Brendan Mathias in the hat, determined to stay with this pace. He's enjoying being able to run with world-ranked runners, Kip Chariot and Steve Scott. Brendan Mathias out of the University of Toronto. Steve Scott to now starting to make his move with 300 meters to go. Here comes Scott, and there he goes. Let's watch now him. Kip Chariot trying outside. to make the move, trying to respond. Can he hold off the challenge of Steve Scott? Kip Chariot in full drive. Steve has not yet started his full stride kick. Brendan Mathias struggling to stay with him. Mathias putting on a charge, trying to stay with Chariot and Scott as they come around the final turn, heading down the home stretch. And it's Colin Matheson in the green coming up on the outside. Harvey Nitro in the blue. Is he going to catch Steve Scott? Steve Scott knows exactly where he is. He's glancing over his shoulder and crosses the finish line easily in first place in a time of 3.43.10. Steve Scott of the United States, the winner. Colin Math Math Matheson coming in in 3.43.41. Harvey Mitchell with a big finish to finish third in 3.43.69. But Steve Scott, once again, the winner of the 1,500 meters. How about that pace? Well, I've been having trouble with my training lately, so... I've been doing a lot of work out in the water, in the pool, so I was quite feeling quite natural in the rain. <laughs> nice to see you can smile after a performance like that. We are